Hello everyone, welcome to TLT Studio. My name is Tabuki Townsend. With this tutorial, I am going to tell you everything you need to know about Jamaica Care Program, where to go to access the online platform, which program to choose, and how to complete the application online. Timestamps are provided in the description below so you can skip to the area of the video that you're most interested in. This will be a two-part series, so in this video, we will only look at the main three care programs. Let's jump right in. Quick disclaimer, we at TLT Studio will not have full access to all areas on the online platform because each area is tailored for specific persons. However, we will provide useful information that will help you to complete any of the applications. What is the CARE program? The CARE program is a short-term cash transfer program to individuals and businesses to cushion the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The government of Jamaica is responding with a 25 billion stimulus, a stimulus which means assistance from the government to help citizens in this financial crisis due to recession. Recession which refers to the general decline in economic activities. The stimulus consists of reduction in the rate of GCT, general consumption tax, from 16.5% to 15.0% and other benefits expected to cost 15 billion and a spending stimulus of 10 billion under the COVID allocation of resources for employees, aka care program. The COVID pandemic and its effects are rapidly evolving. Therefore, the government of Jamaica may update the care program over time. That's why you guys are supposed to subscribe to TLT Studio YouTube channel so that we can provide all the updates you may need. There are nine sections to the care program. However, today we're only going to look at the three main sections. The first one is set cash, which simply means supporting employees with transfer of cash. Now what this simply means, the government will provide short-term cash transfers to individuals where it can be verified that you lost your employment on or after March 10, 2020, the date of the first COVID case in Jamaica. Requirements to qualify for the grant under the Set Cash program are as follows employed up to March 10, 2020, and statutory deductions were paid on your behalf. Statutory deductions are taxes that your company is required to take from your pay and then pay over to the government. Second requirements. You were laid off after March 10, 2020. Evidence of this will be required in the form of a P45 form uploaded by your employer with the names of the workers and their taxable incomes. All right, so the P45 is a form that your company will provide which have all your information as it relates to the amount of tax that you paid over to the government from the date of your employment to the point where you were laid off. All right, the third requirements to receive the grant under the set cash program is your taxable income must be less than or equal to 1.5 million per year which simply means if you earn over 1.5 million per year then you will not receive a grant under the set cash program now the benefits of set cash is that persons who apply and qualify will receive nine thousand dollar per fortnight paid monthly from the month of their application to june 2020 all right guys so 
please be advised that you will not get the money every fortnight all right so if in other terms they are paying you four thousand five hundred per week however you will get everything month in the second program we're going to look at is the general grant the general grant of a one-time amount of $25,000 will be available to barbers, hairdressers, beauty therapists, cosmetologists, market vendors, taxi and bus operators who are registered with the municipal or transfer authority by April 30, 2020. So those are the, the persons that are able to apply for a grant under the general grant program and the requirements are as follows for barbers hairdressers beauty therapists and cosmetologists must show evidence of being licensed with the municipal authority at any time over the last two years april 1 2018 to april 30 2020 so you must have a valid license with the municipal authority in order to get the grant. For taxi and bus operators, they must have registration with the tax authority by April 30. And for bar and nightclub operators, they need the registration with the municipal authority by April 20 by april 30 2020 so what this simply means that everybody um that are supposed to receive the grant they they must have a valid registration now the benefits under the general grant is that the barbers hairdressers beauty therapists taxi operators bus operators ven market vendors will receive a one-time amount of $25,000. Now, for bar operators and nightclub operators who apply and qualify will receive a one-time general grant of $40,000. Craft vendors, J-U-T, J-U-T-A, Maxi, and J-C-A-L operators who apply and qualify will receive a one-time general grant of $40,000. Now the third program is the Compassionate Grants. The Compassionate Grant is available to anyone in need. So that means this grant is for unemployed persons, informally employed persons, elderly, the pensioners, students that are over 18 this is a grant that you can apply for so if you're applying for this particular grant you're not going to be able to apply for any other assistance under the care program to qualify for the grant the person must be unemployed an elderly person student or pensioner with a valid TRN can apply for benefit underneath this grant. The persons that apply and the application was successful, they will receive a one-time grant of $10,000 paid to their bank account or to any remittance company of their choice. Well, so what this simply means for everybody that are unemployed, you know, students and students, unemployed persons, elder, elderly persons, once they have a valid TRN, they can apply for the grant and they will get a one-time grant of $10,000 from the government. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to go online and access the website so you're able to fill out the application and submit it to get the assistance 
Now the first thing you're going to do is open your browser. Now ensure that it is an up-to-date browser because some websites won't work if it's not an up-to-date browser. All right. Now I know that a lot of you guys will probably go to Google and type in we care that gov that jm which is the correct link to the website however when you type it in google google will show you different links which is not related to this right here where you want to get to access the the website so you can fill out the application so don't do this all right do not search for the link in google because it will not work le like that what you're going to do you're going to go up to the search bar click backspace and then you're going to type it out in the search bar so the link is we care dot gov dot jm then you're going to press enter all right once you press enter the website will come up and this is the official website all right now there's not much to do on the website so i'm going to show you where you where you're supposed to go depending on which application you want to fill out so if you look down here we have set cash best cash general grants compassionate grants part grants small business grants tourism grants all right so depending on the the grant that you're applying for you will click the appropriate link so if you hover over the logo of each program you will see the, the the point change to a hand click right so you're going to click and then it opens up all right or so for instance you want to go on general grants you will just click and it open the general grant all right however we're only going to look at the set cash one right now all right so this is the official website and I will provide the link in the description below so it will be easier for you. All right. So this is the first part of it. All right. So it's a get started. Now, the first question is, were you laid off or terminated on or after March 10? Right. You're going to click yes. You're going to type in your first name your last name your TRN number which is very important because this is what they will use use to generate um, this is what they will use to search the database to find out if you're supposed to get a grant under this program after which you put in your date of birth ensure that this right here is correct so I'm going to type it in and let you guys see. All right. All right. So if you try to access this program and you see this come up, it simply means that you're putting in your TRN wrong. It's the current, it's the wrong information you're putting in. All right. So, what you have to do is double check the TRN number to ensure that it is it is the correct one. All right. After which, they're gonna take you to the general information, which is right here. However, as I said before, um, we at TLT Studio is not going to be able to access every area of the website. Therefore, at this point, I can only provide information as to what to expect. 
so in in the general information section you can expect them to ask you for your email address your number your home address your place of work the address of the place of work information like that that is what they're going to ask the other area is going to be your banking information banking information as it relates to which bank the branch the location and your account number so this is where you will put that information so you can get the funds sent to your banking account all right once you completed the banking information you will have the review section the review section will just simply advise you that you have completed the application right and they will provide you with a reference code now the reference code is very important that is the code they will use to verify that you have completed your application and that they are verifying that you are supposed to get it right so ensure that you screenshot your reference code or write it down very important now after you're done the application a few days later what you can do you can check you can check your application or track your application you can fill in your reference code and your trn number so you're able to check your application to see when it will be available all right which is very important all right so that's the first one which is set cash so let's go back let's go back and the the second one we will we will look at is the this one here which is the compassionate grants right with the compassionate grants they're going to ask which of the following applies to you are you unemployed informally employed student 18 or older elderly after which you will fill in your name fill in your tearing number add your date of birth right after you click continue they're going to ask you general information general information as it relates to your home address your telephone number your email address your those, those type of information then you're going to go to the banking information section where you will provide your your account number the branch the type of bank so if you're if you're doing business with jn or you're doing business with ncb you will provide the information the banking information that the government will need to transfer the funds after that you're going to go to the review section where you're going to get a reference number as well these funds are supposed to be paid on a monthly basis from april to june so it's not on a weekly basis right or a fortnightly basis all the payments will be made on a monthly basis right so this is completed now we're going to look at the general grants we're going to go right here and click so this is the general grant section general grants first question is type of occupation you're going to click and scroll to see which one fits you best so if you're a bus operator bar operator barber you know you scroll down to ensure that this one fits you here dresser independent tour guide you know ppv license vehicle owner taxi operators etc all right once you click let's just choose one for example all right you want to choose one so for instance bus operator we're gonna put in first name, last name, first name, last name, your tearing number, 
date of birth and this right here very important your license slash registration number so once you're licensed with the tax office or JHTA you will have a number to fill in right here and once you fill it in you click continue then you're going to go ahead and put in your general information as it relates to your address your telephone number your email address um, your place of work like where where do you operate from etc then you're going to go ahead and put in your banking information which bank which bank you do business with your account number so that the government can make the necessary arrangements to transfer the funds after which you're going to click continue and then you're going to do, going to go to the review section where you will get a reference code all right all right so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or comments please leave those in the comment section the links for everything is going to be in the description below make sure to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you can get more videos like this in the future thank you so much for watching remember to like leave a comment and share and please remember to stay home and stay safe